I'm here at Casa Long Beach where some students are getting their ticket to Long Beach State's men's volleyball's first game of the NCAA tournament. As you can see, some players have arrived at the scene getting ready to take some pictures with some fans before their game against Belmont Abbey at the Walter Pyramid on April 30. I'm here at Costa Mesa, here in the Costa Mesa Flood Channel, where the Orange County Coast Keeper is prepared to clean up the area. For 20 plus years, the Orange County Coast Keeper has done everything in their power to keep Orange County clean. I'm here at the Walter Pyramid here in Cal State Long Beach as Long Beach State's men's volleyball is about to play Belmont Abbey in the first round of the NCAA tournament. As you can see, some fans of both teams have arrived here outside the Walter Pyramid as they're ready to enter the pyramid and root for their schools. A new era has begun for the Dodgers as the new superstar made his much anticipated debut, having fans all over LA aesthetic to see him play. Meanwhile, history was made around the Lakers, Clippers, and of course, LeBron James. Let's get into it. Congratulations again to LeBron James for surpassing 40,000 career points. And we shall see what the future has in store for the Dodgers and the Clippers. Raya, back to you. I'm here at Blair Field where the dirtbags are ready to play some ball. With under new players and coaching, many will say that this team has exceeded expectations so far. These players and the dirtbags program needed a new voice to coach the team. When the job became available, interim head coach Brian Peters took the job with no hesitation. The first reason why is because he loves being around the players. I'm a coach that, I mean, I feel like if the players aren't the best part of your job, then, you know, maybe coaching isn't for you. And so I, I love being around these guys. I love our, our personnel, love the, the people that are on our team. The second reason is the fans. A very loyal fan base, uh, tremendous support from our alums, from the community and from our donors, which is great. And then we have a great staff as well. All the coaches, the head coaches and the assistant coaches in this program, uh, all the people behind the scenes, really, really good people that make a program what it is. And so this is a place where when you combine the great weather, Blair Field at Bull Diamond, Bull Diamond at Blair Field, uh, up tradition of winning and all the people that, that are a part of this program, it's a no brainer. And that's why I didn't hesitate at all. Plenty of players love to have Peters around as head coach. Like sophomore pitcher Kellen Montgomery, he gives credit to Peters for his improvements compared to last season transforming him from a bullpen pitcher to a full-time starter. He, I think he's, he's a phenomenal coach and just a great guy. And I think the mental side that he has his train is a huge factor to what I'm able to do. And junior catcher Cole Stantander credits Peters for changing the mentality of the program. We love him. The culture here has totally changed. Um, we're just having fun at the ballpark. Uh, he cares about us so much and wants us to get better. So uh, we love playing for him. Will Peters be the permanent coach? We'll find out as the season goes on. Reporting from Long Beach, I am Enrique Rodriguez with Beach TV News.